Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here, America's leading liberalologist. Now in one of my previous videos I revealed that the main symptom of the sickness known as liberalism is delusions of intelligence, the unshakable belief by liberals that they are intellectually superior to all others. Now, apparently some liberals out there were deeply offended that I revealed their greatest secret, that their intelligence is only delusional. And they were also outraged that I would use faith in God as an indicator because as atheists, they know there is no God. Well, to those atheist liberals who wrote to me, I say, thank you for proving me right. You see, in order to say that there is no God, the atheist liberal must have total and complete knowledge of every fact in existence in the entire universe. When they confidently announce that there is no God, they're announcing that there is nothing that exists in all of creation that they're not fully knowledgeable about. If that if there was something out there a hundred billion light years away from Earth that was called God, they'd know all about it. <laughs> if that's not delusional, I don't know what is. Now, occasionally I meet an atheist who will demonstrate a bit of honesty by backtracking and sheepishly admitting that yes, it's possible that something exists in the vast universe that they don't know about, and yes, that something could be God. Now, at that point, they are no longer atheists. They are agnostics. Those fortunate few have taken their first steps towards recovery. Honest discussion of the issues is the tool that cracks the shell of liberal delusion. The problem is that it's so difficult to get a liberal to discuss anything honestly. They much prefer to make an end run around us adults and take their liberal propaganda directly to our young children. Why? Because children tend to believe whatever they're told, especially when it comes from an authority figure. Now, Parents don't let their kids out in the sun without precautions because exposure to the sun can cause skin cancer. Exposure to liberalism can cause soul cancer protect your children. We have sunblock to protect against the sun, but we don't yet have liberal block. Now, pepper spray shows some promise, but it still needs some work. So until effective liberal block is developed, just keep your kids away from them. Now, meanwhile, I do have good news from the battlefront. I am getting notes and letters from people around the country who have been inspired to run for their local school board. The Tea Party Shield is forming to protect American kids from goofballs in high places. We may talk a lot about cleaning house in Washington, D.C., and that is important, but the war itself will be won at the local level by building foundations like these school board positions, as well as state and local elections, where we will truly bring restoration to this nation. This is Wild Bill for America, continuing my quest to cure liberalism in our lifetime, and God bless America again.